inspired by a different, uh, well, it was there, it was more of a, uh, a Star Wars-esque, um, uh, what is it, like a, a build pack kind of thing, like, it was, like, it was pre-built of, like, almost every vehicle, I think, from, like, the, the Republic and the, uh, and the Empire or something like that, I can't remember exactly what it was, but this one was what the Republic would use. It is uh, pretty much mostly just like a, like white blocks and red blocks kind of thing. And I think that based based on like what we're seeing right here, I think it turned out uh, pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, it looks really, really well done. Uh, the only thing is that uh, this red glass is actually not supposed to be red glass. This is supposed to be uh, barrier blocks, actually. So you wouldn't actually see this, but you'll see like... Uh, all of the blocks in their full glory kind of thing. And that's kind of like what this was. So this uh, ship pretty much has three intended entrances. Uh, one is this uh, sort of like uh, aircraft hangar area, which has a lot of things. And apparently this thing is breaking already. All right. So you'll see like there's these little like area specifically for little planes and such like that to kind of like fly off here of course the barrier would be dropped kind of thing so you can fly out and fly back in kind of deal so that's kind of like how this area was supposed to be uh here's where you have your big plane big humongo plane kind of thing be here kind of go out here and then just sort of just fly out and then just fly out over here uh, this command block over here gives, I think it was, like, it just gives me night vision, I think, and that was just so, though, like, it was easier to work in those, uh, dark, uh, like, little nooks and crannies. Uh, this is kind of in, uh, this is also, uh, kind of bad to end up saying this, but, uh, the left and the right are identical to each other. There is only certain changes between the left and the right, which I will, uh, mention. Uh, we'll get to the other entrances later. Uh, because the it's not going to be that much difficult. Uh, so as I said, I'll mention the other two uh, the other two uh, entrance uh, like the uh, like the differences later. So here is just pretty much like where you would keep your tools to go out and like repair any of the damages on the like the planes and such. So they came back damaged. You would be able to fix them right over here. That's kind of where that is. And then over here, I don't think I ended up having an area or, like, something classified in here. But, like, if this was, like, 1.18, I probably would think of something. Uh, you'll obviously tell, though, that the walls are very plain with, like, oak, wooden planks, and stone brick. Again, this is, again, because, like, we're in 1.12. There's not really much choices for me. And over here, again, nothing really too much else. Again, both versions are identical in the department. And this would be sort of the elevator room. So this would bring you downstairs or, well, there's no up, but yeah, this would bring you down. Uh, then over here is the main, is one of the, the few entrances kind of thing. I just consider this entire thing an entrance. So you can enter from here to go all the way down further and end up looping around over back here, or you can just enter through these two rooms. And this, again, I don't, again, this top area, I have no idea what to plan for them, but yeah, but it doesn't really matter anymore because I kind of abandoned this project. Well, abandoned is a sort of a, a weird thing to say, I kind of stopped thinking of new things to put in here because I just thought this place was just just a little bit too big, in my opinion. So, yeah. So this is everywhere in the top area. Obviously, the planes in here would have to be very, very tiny, which I do have a design that I could use, but I chose not to use them. Uh, so if we head down over here... So let's head down... Oh, that's... Not an in, that's not a down, oh wait, it is a down way, okay, it's just too fast, okay. So here's where you would have, like, uh, like your supplies be shipped to you, or export, or import, however you want to kind of do it, kind of thing, here's where you would do it. Uh, so here's where you have your storage for that, here's extra, here's more storage for that kind of stuff. Uh, over here is just more stuff, and some armor stands so you can use, uh, over here is just more stuff for that. And over here we have a cobblestone generator. This is my version. I think it was my version Mark III, which is about 95% lossless. There's still a 5% chance you can lose on the lava, but that's just unlucky. Uh, there's hoppers in here, which will kind of collect it. There is a chance where it'll hit the lava, but it's not enough for the hopper to take it. And then here over here is a uh, stone generator, pretty much. 
So yeah, there's that too. Uh, somewhere around over here, I can't remember exactly if I still have it somewhere. Ah, it's over here, okay, and now I know where it is. Okay, and then obviously the other side is identical to this. Uh, there's the other side of the elevator, here's the plant room. Uh, over here is a cool enchanting room setup kind of thing, looks very nice, looks very cool. Uh, and over here is a auto smelter, and here's where you get your returns from. I was just testing it out. I think this is, I think, 30 or so, like, um, yeah, I think this is like 30 or 32 or something odd like that. Aw, I'm so sad, Dratini. Uh, like, over here is like uh, 30 or 32 or so uh, odd uh, auto smelting, and it does fully work, so that's actually very good. And then on the opposite side, of course, oh wait, over here we have sleeping quarters for the the crewmates kind of thing over here so they can sleep here's more storage area so that you can do that uh, a lot of this is just like for lighting and stuff like that here's some more uh sleeping quarters for the crews kind of thing and over here is another elevator i think yeah that's another elevator and let's see is this is this identical on both sides because there's there's a few changes but i don't remember all of them uh yeah, okay, so this is just identical. And same thing with this. This also has another 30, so just in case you want to use that. There you go. Uh, yeah, so over here is just like little shipping crates. This would be barrels in 1.18 kind of thing or whatever. But like for here, I ended up misplaced. I ended up putting dispensers here because I thought they would look more solid. Then I put some chests above, and then I just kept doing that over and over again. And I think I have both sides being, again, the same. Yeah. Uh, over here is the nether portal. I did something really cool where I would have like these instruments kind of like measuring how much energy the, the portal is and also telling you like where it's lo like where it's taking you kind of thing. Thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, over here is a little workshop area. I made sure it looked kind of very pretty-ish kind of thing. Again, not much you can do about that. And I think this one is more of like the hazmat suit kind of area. So like if you're in danger or you need to like, uh, or there's like a a chemical spill or something like that you go into this room grab a suit from here obviously there's no suits but like right now but like there'd be suits here and then you would uh, take it and then you would go to wherever you need to go over here is the the med bay so like if you need to be like healed uh you'd go here uh, and then i think over here is a gallery kind of thing or more of a showcase room kind of thing and then you can store your valuables over here again same idea it's all mirrored over here over here is your giant storage room. Uh, I think this one is a lot smaller than what I originally wanted, but it's it's close to what I wanted, and I did this little little thing. I found uh, this online that you could do this, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go do that. And then down here is the same idea. So if we don't have this extra room over here for it, I think this one doesn't have enough. Yeah, it doesn't have enough room for it. Uh, and then over here, I don't think there's anything else in particular yet. Here's another hazmat room. And here's another workshop. And then over in the sides here, you have like these little offices and stuff like that. I think MC Edit doesn't really like paintings being mirrored, so it so it's blank. But like you'll see here though, like they actually do have paintings and such. And here's like a little like uh lounge room so you can rest after your shift kind of thing. So I thought that, that would be kind of cool to have there. Uh let's go take the elevator down again. So we'll go down, take the elevator down. Over here is a little uh, freezer room. I ended up making it so that the, like, uh, the ice was randomly placed. Very cool. Uh, over here is a little kitchen, which will lead you to all of the farms you'll ever need. So, it, well, for the most part, I don't think it has sugar cane. But you have wheat, you have beetroot, you have two beetroot, you have two carrots, and then two potatoes. And then that's it. And then... On the opposite side is the same idea. It's the same thing. And then over here is pretty cool. Where you can put, like, a ship in here. I could put, technically, Rosaria Base and Voracle in here. And there would still be more than enough room to put another thing in here. It's very, very cool. Uh, does this have the mod? No, it doesn't have the mod. Okay. I was going to say, there's a, I have a light level mod. But I think it's on my vanilla-ish, uh, like, non-pixel mod 1.12. That I use to check the light levels and stuff like that. 
And over here's the little bar area, very nice. And here's like a little seating room because it's supposed to be the cafeteria area. And here's another one. And here's more of the cafeteria. <laughs> and here's another bar area, very cool, very cool. And over here is a small little ice box area kind of thing. I think the other side doesn't have that. Yeah, this side doesn't have something like that. And here's like a main elevator that I think I decommit. Oh, I didn't decommission. I close to decommissioned it, but yeah. And then over here, wait. Yeah, it's another elevator. Uh, over here's another like armor supply room kind of thing. Uh, over here is a little training room. Nothing really too uh, glamorous about this one. Uh, I think these are just like sword targets. And then for archery, you would like shoot at that post kind of thing. Over here is, an, is like sort of like what was supposed to be considered the main enchanting area. And then over here is where you would like repair your stuff and all that. And I think that's pretty much it for that area. Uh, over here, let's see, is there another area over here? No. All right, so if we go over to, if we loop around over here, you'll have this room. This room is actually supposed to be a training room as well, but this one's supposed to be more of like the, like holographic, like hologram kind of like enemies kind of thing. So like there would be like, uh, so the doors would close obviously. And then you would have like these hologram zombies kind of like coming after you so you can practice on real life targets kind of thing. And then that's what this is supposed to be. And then I think over here is the shower room. Yeah, this is the shower room. And over here is sort of like the, the guards barracks. So like you would have like the room over here kind of thing and all that stuff. So you'd have like all of these guys over here kind of thing. Uh, each and every one of these will have a beacon. Uh, this is supposed to be s sort of used as like an, uh, like an, an AI kind of thing. So like each and every room has like their own personal AI that sort of governs the room kind of thing, like temperature, uh, showing you the correct time, allowing you to store in like an alarm that you would want for your specific room kind of thing. And then over here is the toilets. Uh, very simple design. I could have went with cauldrons to be more realistic, but I chose this because it has like, has like a little little pipe kind of thing just sticking out. So I thought it would look a little bit more uh, artistic to use that. But then for the, the sink, I chose like the simple design, and then I chose uh, little blue plants over here. And then this is just storing in the the light blocks, so it's not dark in here. Uh, then this again is the showers. Yeah, so the opposite side is identical. So like this one also has uh, Like the shower room over here Of course, this is where you put your towel kind of thing. So when you walk out So when you're going like oh, I'm refreshed you walk out grab your towel kind of thing and here's where you can put like clean towels kind of thing And same idea toilets and all that stuff and then here's where the rooms are I think that's it for this area. Yeah, because here's where the storage room is the storage room is actually two blocks thick or two blocks tall, or two rooms tall, pretty much. So it's actually very interesting. Uh, but if we head downstairs, I don't think there's anything else over here, right? Yeah, because you have the chill room, you have that room, and you have all that stuff. Yeah, so there's nothing really too much else here. So let's head downstairs even further. So we'll head down through here. Oh, wait. Can you actually... Wait. No, there's no way you can still interact with it. You can interact with it in spectator. Oh, that's why I got turned around. Okay So down over in here, which I think is the third floor You can tell what floor you're on based upon like the wood color as well I thought that would be a really interesting does a uh, little little tidbit kind of thing to to show you kind of thing And then here's a bigger freezer area, but this is for something else and I think the well, yeah, there's a bunch of freezers here uh, a bunch of more storage over here is another elevator. Uh, in 1.18, these would be actually scaffolding. I would love redstone, but it's just not worth making a redstone one. Redstone ones are a bit too clunky, and from every one that I've ever actually ended up using, they just never really work the way that they, they should. And here's another little storage room. Again, I'm really big on storage rooms. So here's like a little laboratory so you can so you can test out new like little potions and stuff like that and you can test them out and you can 
record them on the computer that's supposed to be here. Yeah, that's very, supposed to be very cool. And then uh, I think this one's more so like just researches and stuff like that, just researching different sort of things and making sure that everything's working perfectly kind of thing. Uh, then over here is a big lab. This is the big, big lab. This is the one where you would have more researchers kind of researching every little thing. And then you would have your little like storage cabinets. Uh, you'd have these. I think this one's missing, I think, some trap doors over here, but that's fine. Uh, and then a little comp then little computers here and there. This one's a big computer, so very, very cool. Yeah, I think the this lab is probably one of my favorite rooms in this entire area, just because like I went a little bit above and beyond just trying to give it some some color pretty much. Then I think over here is sort of the med bay area, but you also have like where they would pr uh, where they would like uh, brew the health potions uh, for the medical room for this area. So you got that going for you. Then over here we have like the little like the person that tells you to wait uh, wait until the doctor can see you kind of thing. And then you'd have these little rooms here, which can be outfitted for surgery if need be, which is very cool, very cool. And I think that's pretty much it for this area, other than if you go over here, same thing.